If you've been following our travels, we have been visiting the amazing towns in Lake Garda, Italy. I'll leave the links in the description if you haven't seen them. We were staying in Pai of Torre del Banaco, and now we were headed to the northern foot of the lake. The northern foot of the lake is quite interesting. You first enter the valley of Torboli. You can drive up, like we did, to Nago Torboli, which starts your ascent to the Dolomites for an incredible view of the valley and Lake Garda. And then there's a small mountain range in the middle. And then the valley on the western side is Riva del Garda, a major town of Lake Garda. We were also going to visit Arco, a small town north of Riva, which has some cool castle ruins perched on a steep mountain range. On the way to Torboli, we pass through several tunnels, through the mountains, and then you enter the province of Trentino. Torboli is congested with cars and with people. It is known for its sailing and kite surfing and windsurfing, and it is just a mecca for beginners to professionals. As you drive through it, you'll actually see that there is no shortage of surf shops. nice beaches here and Torboli is a bit smaller and less known to tourists than Riva, unless you're a surfer that is, but both towns are true towns, meaning bars, restaurants and cafes, but also gas stations, grocery stores and even malls. The main road takes you off of the lakefront in Torboli, and we decided instead of turning towards Riva to continue up the road leading upward towards the Dolomites towards an area called Nago Torboli. This area has a cute little town but has also some incredible views of Torboli and Lake Garda. For an amazing view, we drove up past Riva and we're now in Nago Torboli. Um, and you get an amazing view of Riva as well as Lake Garda. So if you're in the area, you definitely wanna drive up here. I actually thought that the entire valley on the northern foot of the lake was Riva del Garda, but then realized that Torboli and Riva are both valleys and separated by a small mountain range in the middle. And yes, we did pass through the area multiple times, and each time we couldn't help ourselves but to stop and grab some more footage. From there, we headed back down the mountain, and this time we were going to cross the valley to the northwestern side to visit a small village with an incredible castle called Arco. The drive was only about 20 minutes, and the small town was really cute, but our weather was not in our favor, so we decided to just head towards the castle.
The castle is perched up on a steep mountain and dates back to the 12th century, although the first settlements are said to have been built there around 300 BC. We actually had a hard time finding how to get to the castle. My GPS wanted us to drive through the pedestrian way, which of course wasn't allowed. We just stayed on the road that we were on and that took us pretty far up and then parked in a tiny parking lot full of olive trees where I walked the rest of the way up. It said it was a 20 minute walk up here. It was pretty much straight up. So as if my <laughs> thighs didn't have a bit of a workout in Malchesney here in Arco, I think that's how you say it. I'm gonna have to look it up. Um, <laughs> definitely got a workout straight up and down. Um, it said it was 20 minutes. I don't think it was. I think it was less than that. Um, you do have to pay to go up into the castle. Um, I didn't even bring my purse or my wallet up. I'm um, hoping to get some drone shots. I hear it flying around here, um, but definitely a sight to see. It's pretty amazing. If you were wanting to go inside the castle, the admission was five euro. From there, we headed for Riva del Garda, and we were greeted by one of its medieval gates. So we've just parked and we've made it to Riva now. So we're gonna have a look around. Riva, like Triboli, is known for its sailing, kite surfing, and windsurfing. It is also a picturesque town with colorful buildings, medieval towers, narrow alleyways, and its pedestrian area is just a perfect place to stroll. From Riva, there are short hiking trails that lead up to the medieval towns and archeological sites, as well as a waterfall in a hidden grotto. These things were all on our list, but the weather just wasn't in our favor. These gardens are amazing. Our weather, not so great right now. It's raining um, and it's kind of chilly. <laughs> um, for us, it's feeling like Florida winter instead of Italia summer. Um, but it's really, really beautiful. I mean, this is amazing. And just so you know, in proximity where is Riva, it's right at the end of the lake. So Sirmione is at the foot of the lake in Desenzano. Um, but here we're at the very, the opposite end of it. So we're at the end of it, right before the Dolomites. water he's windsurfing this part of Lake Garda is really known for its windsurfing as well as its rock climbing
last time that we did that Cause I'm really missing you It was so The rain started to really come down, so in Piazza 3rd Novembre, we ducked into the restaurant at Hotel Centrale. The piazza is dedicated to the soldiers who died in World War I and is the heart of both the old and modern town of Riva. It is the location of the town hall, the bell tower, and some houses of the nobility, and it dates back to the period of Scaligeri rule, like much of Lake Garda. That's calamari. And Manny got pizza with tuna and onions on it, and it was actually really delicious. The rain seemed to slow up a bit after we ate, so we went back out to explore. There is a funicular that you can see behind the buildings, and it will take you to the Venetian Bastione a scenic lookout with a restaurant and bar, and the Venetian tower that dates back to the early 1500s. Now we cover up in and out of love With people we don't even want to know oh. Both Riva and Torbole do offer ferry service.
such an amazing day visiting the northern foot of Lake Gerda. Even though the weather didn't hold up, we still found the northern side of the lake to be sensational. And just like all the other towns in Lake Gerda, we found Triboli, Arco, and Riva to all have truly their own identity, where no two towns were alike. Stay tuned for our last episode in Lake Gerda, where we visit the stunning Limone Sulgarda, a town that I had been waiting over a year to come back and visit. And after that, we head north for the Dolomites. So make sure that you're subscribed. See you next time.